Hi guys, this is Sean, and I'm gonna do a spoiler review in the 355. Well, I should say Tsunami Serpent Inn. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's get this over with. And if you haven't seen the first video, uh, non spoiler for the 355, go see that. Or if you haven't seen the movie, go see the movie. But, I don't know. In the, I think you shouldn't see it in the theater. But if you're really curious, go see it in the theater. But in the regular, don't see it in IMAX and Dolby. But if you're like, I can wait this off, then see this in rental is what I recommend you should do. <laughs> um, let's start with uh, the characters. And then we'll jump to the story. And then I will give my final verdicts, if that's okay. And maybe I'll maybe along the way I'll talk about the setting, and um, I guess the technical issues and a lot of that stuff. So first, let's talk about let's talk about the characters. Jessica Chastain character Mace, she's pretty good. She's like. She's the main character in this film, for sure, because she showed up like the whole movie. She's an American specialist agent, and um, I guess she's in charge of getting the decryption device, which in the movie, the decryption device is the main plot of this movie. Like this device can hack into anything, can hack into infrastructure, can hack into... Um, buildings and uh and nuclear weapons and anything like off the grid and you could get away with it so yeah and her mission is to retrieve that data encryption device and give it to her american agency there that's her character next diana kruger character uh, maria smith uh she's a german intelligence agency uh, I, I forget everything about CIA, MIA. I don't know who is in CIA. I don't know who is in MIA. And I don't know who is in uh, what agency. I forgot everything because nothing is memorable. So I don't remember. But I just know that Di um, that Maria Smith is a German agency. And she's trying, to re re she's trying to retrieve the same thing that Mace is retrieving to her agency. And that's her point of her mission. Next up, we're going to Penelope Cruz's character, Grace. I would just call Grace for short. Um, her character is that she is, uh, I guess, a doctor, a psychiatrist, who just goes along with this mission because, I guess, one of her friends, another character, but he's just a side character, Luis Roja is Edgar Ramirez's character. He is... Um, a character that you see in the beginning as a soldier and then after that like he has the main data encryption device in his hands in the beginning because like in the beginning every everybody was fighting for that data encryption device even the boss that was not memorable at all was fighting for it and end up Luis has it in his hands so so, and um, that's how uh, Grace pops up, is she, I guess Luis Roja is her friend, and she tries to help him, and I guess she went with an agency to retrieve that data encryption device as well with him, to save him or something. I don't know if they're related, but that's how they are together. And that's her mission, I guess. And then... Lupita Nyong's character, I'm sorry I butchered this actress's uh, name, uh, Kaj, she's, I guess, a friend of Mace, and she's a professor, and she, she's, she, she's major in, um, I guess, uh, technology or information technology, and, like, she's she's mostly a tech savvy person 
and uh, Mace calls her for this mission, and she's doing this mission um, to help her friend and um, Mace, and you know, retrieve the data thing so they could save the world. That's her mission, <laughs> basically. And then we'll move on to the fifth member, which is Bing Bing Fan, and she is, um, uh, I guess, Chinese intelligence agency. I guess, and I guess they're working for the same thing, and her name is Li Mi Li Mi Sheng, Li Mi Sheng. Uh, sorry, I pronounced it wrong, but you know, that's her character, and I guess all the five of them are the three five five, which that's what the movie is called. And then we move on to Sebastian Stan's character, Nick Fowler, and he is the, I guess, plot twister in this movie because in the beginning he's the be he's the good guy um, that works with Mace to retrieve this data thing, and then after that he turns bad because I guess he works with the the boss of the other gangster club. I forgot what their clan is called or their team is called but and then he works with them and then he becomes bad and then he has to fight with all five of them uh, and then yeah so basically he's the plot plot twist bad guy <sighs> and those are the characters now let's move on to the story yeah so the story is as simple as it follows they all of them try to retrieve the data retrieving device and their obstacle is one boss with a guy that betrayed his American agency that went to the gangster agency that tries to retrieve the same thing as well and and whoever retrieves it win I guess and that's the movie which is nothing special <laughs> And maybe some spoilers in the movie I could give is that, um, uh, let's see, Nick Fowler's character is like the, he, he's, he's an American agency and he's pretty good and then he turns bad and it was really predictable because they show like glimpses in the movie saying that he's gonna turn bad and then like and then like i guess he's the main bad guy because the boss didn't really do anything the boss just shows up in the beginning trying to get the data retrieving device and then all his men got killed and he left and that's how luis roja got the thing because he luis roja is a soldier at that place so the boss didn't really do anything he just orders Sebastian Stan, Nick Fowler, and beats him up, and there's nothing to his character. So I guess Nick Fowler, he's the main bad guy. And then we have the three five five, which is the five, um, the five uh, female agents joined together to retrieve this data retreat data encryption device. And one is from America, one is from German. Uh, I wouldn't say the other one's an agent, but I would say she's a doctor from Colombia. So, okay. And then the other one, I just, uh, sh she's like, she's a professor, but she's kind of a soldier in the, um, because they told us that she is a soldier in the beginning. So then I guess she's an American agent. And then we have a Chinese agent. So then, yeah. And it's like countries joining together to fight one uh, main huge bad guy, which they tried to say, but he's not main huge, but he's like, he's just a bad guy. And not an interesting one either. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Um, I could say in the end, nobody dies, but you can predict that. Um, what else? 
I don't know what to say about this movie. Oh, the they travel to a lot of places in this movie. Like they will show you like they travel to Colombia, they travel to Africa, they travel to China, they travel to America, they travel to Europe, like everywhere around the world they traveled. Um so it's really diverse and um I guess it's kind of um and it's kind of beautiful, like, how they show the shots of the countries and stuff. And then uh, the action sequences and the stunts and the choreograph. Some of it were good, but most of it were muddled by the shaky cam and the shaky cam central and close-up shots. Like, close-up shots ruined everything. And that's how all of those gets me a headache. Because, like, Shaky Cam, you can't see anything. You can't see the stunts. You can only see them. And then you see some blur. And then you see their close-up. And I don't understand that. And then, um... Let's see. What else spoilers I could give you? Um... Yeah, um... That's all I can say about this movie. I, nothing pops up in my mind. But, um... I'm just gonna go for a verdict right now. Because, like... <laughs> if, you're, if you're interested to watch this movie, like, if you're curious to watch, like, it is the way it is, then go watch it in the theater. But watch it in regular. Don't watch it in IMAX Adobe. Or, or if you're not into in the theater, just when it comes out, just rent it. Don't buy it. Rent it. So, um, my final verdicts for this movie. I have to give this movie. Uh, yeah, I'll be generous. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. I was thinking of giving it a 3. I'll give it a below average. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Because there were some good parts. There were some good action sequences. There were some good um, scenery shots. Uh, the story was basic. It was just a regular action espionage drama. And um, and the actors stand out, kind of, on their own way. Kind of. I said kind of because they're not memorable, but they kind of stand out. Um, the premise was there, but the execution got a little it, it got a little so-so like the execution was like they didn't finish the execution so yeah that's my review on this movie i wanted to tell more spoilers but i can't in the top of my head maybe i could tell you one or two um i guess in the beginning there was this uh you can see that the potential that this action sequence can be really good, like the spinning motorcycle and the um, the gun play in the beginning was pretty good, and the running and gunning and punching and kicking and all that was good, but then it got muddled with the uh, shaky cam and the close up shots. At the end, the action sequences and stunts and got better. As it progressed later on the film, it got better, but it didn't. It got better, but it was still not as great as the potential they can do. They can do it much more better than that. Um, and in the middle, the middle was more of exposition talking. Well, they do have some action sequences, but mainly it was most likely getting the plot, um, continuing the plot. And a lot of stuff. And, um... And, oh, yeah, in the end, they want to they want a sequel. They, they want to do a sequel bait. Like, at the end, I could see, like, a sequel coming. But if they want to do a sequel, here's some tips I could give them for improvement. Don't do shaky cam and close-up shots anymore if you want to do a sequel. Don't do it. Show the action sequences the way it is. Show the stunts the way it is. Show everything the way it is. And then um, the story, make it more 
interesting. Do more plot twists. Um, don't make it predictable. This is this movie was really predictable. Um, what else? Of course, they'll keep the th the five main characters, but like they would have to get a, another bad guy. So maybe get a more uh, like aggressive, furious, interesting bad guy, uh, cunning or intelligent. You can get any bad guy that fits and team up with Sebastian Stan character because I heard that in the end he was he was not dead but he went to jail so maybe break him out or something and do like a bad guy team up against the five I guess that could work but just make something that's good and don't use shaky cam and close-up shots that's all I'm saying don't use those two they made me have a headache this movie and yeah, that's all I could say about this film. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, guys. I'll see you in my next movie review. My next movie review is going to be The Police Lineage. I was planning, I'm going to plan to watch this on Sunday uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, look forward to that. And yeah. I'll see you on my next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Tsunami Serpent out. Let's go.